man of God, did Prophet Tib Joshua study in Bible college before his ministry or, or what? No, he did not study in any Bible college. He read his Bible, the Holy Spirit spoke to him, and that's how he started his ministry. Man of God, Senior Prophet Tib Joshua, during his divine earthly ministry, took precise account of his every actions, growth, and trials. The man of God has raised numerous disciples, prophets, prophetess, wise men, pastors, apostles of the kingdom of God worldwide. And if he should have decided to open a biblical institution, then the attendance should have been great. But he did not. When one of his disciples were asked if Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua had ever attended any biblical institution, he responded, Man of God, did Prophet T.B. Joshua study in Bible college before his ministry or, or what? No, he did not study in any Bible college. He read his Bible, the Holy Spirit spoke to him, and that's how he started his ministry. Evangelist Rickard said, the man of God, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, attended no biblical institution, but he prayed and the Holy Spirit ministered to him, and thus he started his ministry. He was also asked if he could tell what the man of God used to say in his prayers. He responded, I can tell because he wasn't praying to me, but to God. And most of the time, he prays in the Spirit for hours. This is his communion time and communication time with God, but not with men. So I cannot say that. He prays these words. He prays that words when he wasn't praying to me, but rather to God. He said that Prophet T. Joshua was praying four hours on his knees. So what he was telling to God Almighty prayed for so long hours, dear pastor. Hey, I don't know what he was saying to God uh, in his prayers. He, he didn't pray it out loud with his mouth. So it's not like he was saying, oh God, like if I was over there or the, some of the disciples that would follow him to the prayer mountain was like over there and you could see him. We could see him praying and sometimes he would pray with us. But when he was praying between him and God, he wasn't praying for us to hear. He would just pray in his heart, you know. Or it's not like he was like, oh God, I pray right now for Ricard. God bless him over there, Lord. And I could hear it. No, of course not. He was saying his prayers, you know, probably even maybe even in his native language sometimes, you know. So uh, I don't know what he was saying every prayer. I mean, if I, did, I mean, nobody could ever know every single prayer that we pray because it's not to man, it's to God. And God alone knows what he prays about. He said the man of God was very committed 100% to his calling and would always tell them, the reason that the Lord is using me mightily is because I have no plan B. I have no college degree to which I will fall back upon. But it's just my mission for Christ. It's all and all to me. He gave his whole life. He had no side hustle. He had no hobby. He, he told us many times, the reason why God uses me the way he does is because I don't have a plan B. I don't have a school degree to fall back on. I have nothing. All I have is Jesus. And that's what he said. And that's why I think God used him that way. There was no second option. So, and, and I mean, his commitment to, to, to his calling was overwhelming. It was, it was uh, absolutely overwhelming, his commitment to his calling. He, there was nothing else in his life other than his calling. That was everything f for him. His relationship with Jesus, his calling, his ministry, that was it. For the man of God had no second option. He had no other option. He was committed to his calling completely. His commitment was totally overwhelming. Thus, his relationship with Jesus Christ, his commitment, his ministry for the Lord was everything to him. And to that, he was a very, very strict mentor. Uh, so, so, definitely that played a big role. And, you know, just the revelation that he had, 
you know, when he was out praying and fasting and stuff and, you know, the intimacy. Evangelist Ricard said he's not saying these in a bad light, but that was how he was. For senior prophet to be Joshua was the kind of mentor that wants you to give your all and wants you to put all your focus upon your mission and not to be sidetracked by anything else. Maybe Joshua was an incredibly strict mentor, guys. T.B. Joshua was a strict mentor. You, you can say whatever you want. And I'm not saying that being strict is wrong. I'm not saying that he was wrong. But he was very strict. A strict mentor. He wanted you to give your everything when you follow Jesus. You know, Jesus said that, that uh, someone said, Oh, let me just go and bury my father and then I'll come and follow you. And he said, like, Hey, let, let the dead bury, the, uh, bury their dead. You come and follow me right away. And that sounds very harsh to a human to a human being would be like, oh my, that's very harsh of you to say Jesus. Why can't you just let him bury his father? Because he knows. Jesus knows exactly what is in our heart. Some people, we have things that are higher above Jesus Christ. So, so also Prophet T.B. Joshua was a very strict mentor. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as a way to support the channel. We are grateful for all your efforts.